Now, your KSBW weather forecast with Chief Meteorologist Lee Solomon. Good evening, everybody. We'll take a look at some temperatures out there right now. Lots of 40s dropping quickly. Sacramento 47, 48 in Fresno, 30s up there in Lake Tahoe. Still a little light snow coming down, too. And low 50s to middle 50s and a 61 in San Diego. We'll take you across the nation. This is for tomorrow if you're traveling and landing somewhere. Not bad at all. Look at these numbers. The coldest actually is here in the west with 40s in Salt Lake, 58 Denver, 44 Billings, 28 in Bismarck. That's not bad for this time of year. 30s and near 40 in Minneapolis and lots of 40s and 50s back east and 60s and even some low 70s on the Gulf Coast. So uh, no big travel issues. And look at this. It's dry from the Rocky Mountains basically eastward. We'll get a little bit of snow in the mountains eventually on Christmas Day. So we'll have a white Christmas parts of Denver and uh, Salt Lake City, but not a big storm system. And we've got some weather, of course, here on the West Coast. That's where most of the action actually will be in the next two to maybe three days or so. You can see we've got a system that'll move into Southern California on Christmas Day and then the day after. So they'll be looking at some weather and they've got some now. Clouds riding up around this area of low pressure. Still got some rain showers. Next system queuing up here up in the Gulf of Alaska. It'll drag down some colder air, so we'll certainly be feeling that. And you can see the rain still going in some cases. A little bit of snow in the central Sierra. Not too much for Tahoe now winding down. And all of this will eventually start to wind down, but very slowly. They're still going to do rain showers. And you can see it's kind of flared up a little bit just north of Bakersfield right now. So there are some heavier showers down there. And uh, that will continue over the next couple of days. Clouds and rain for us. We do have some chances here. And we'll take a look at that over the next 24 hours. Not much overnight. I'm just thinking partly cloudy skies. Future cast a little more bullish, maybe some mist or some drizzle uh, tomorrow, but overall basically dry with the slight chance of a few showers. Then tomorrow evening, 10, 11 o'clock, we've got some showers coming in for Christmas Eve. That'll go overnight as some rain. And then on Wednesday morning, Christmas morning, we're back to some scattered showers and then we may see some more rain later on Christmas. You can see the bulk of this is either offshore or pushing south and there's a reason for that. So we'll zoom out a little bit so you can see where this is all coming from. Again, clouds, rain and snow ending in Southern California tomorrow morning. Our system starts to approach tomorrow, gets here tomorrow night. That's 11 p.m. That slides south and then you can see the next system is actually offshore. Now it's really going to depend if it all stays offshore. We don't have much rain at all for Christmas Day. If it just jogs a little bit closer to the coast, we have basically light rain for most of the day. I'll cut the middle somewhere and say, yeah, we'll have some showers out of this. It could be an all day event or just parts of the day, but figure on some wet weather at least for Christmas Day. By Wednesday night, Christmas night into Thursday, this system's into Southern California and they're getting a pretty good rain in LA and snow in their mountains all the pretty much Christmas night and then into the day after. So there will be some travel issues down there if you're going to go over the Tahoe Pass and all that in the grapevine. You want to keep uh, alert on that. 36 to 44 overnight will be pretty chilly later tonight. We'll look at temperatures basically in the upper and middle 30s coast, some lower middle 30s valleys and a low 40s around the peninsula. 49 to 57 tomorrow, cool temperatures, slight chance of showers. We'll call it partly cloudy. Temperatures right around that 55 degree mark, a degree or two above or below. If you're in the Santa Cruz Mountains, you've got about 50 degrees up in Ben Lomond, Bondi Dune and Boulder Creek. So here we go through Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. We'll put in some light rain for Christmas Day, then we'll clear it out. And then we're into a stretch of dry weather on Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Our next shot at rain after that will be on Sunday. Temperatures will stay cooler, mostly 50s. And then we'll warm up again, it looks like by next week, which will take you into the new year with maybe some warmer temperatures, overnight lows, 30s and 40s, maybe a little rain for Santa's arrival on Christmas Eve. And then we're clearing out Christmas night and then we keep it clear for a couple of nights. So just kind of a little bit of a blip, more yeah, or less. Right. No huge headaches, but if you're traveling, leave yourself a little extra time. There will oh, be some oh, rain oh. and some wet roads. And Santa can handle it. It's oh, all good. Absolutely. Yeah, this is nothing. Where he lives, yeah. a lot colder. All right.